Father, as we give you glory today, we magnify your name. Lord God, we thank you. We thank you in advance for another opportunity to be in the land of the living one more time. I'm asking, Holy Spirit, as you direct words today, direct hearts, minister to us inside and out. We thank you in advance for what your word is going to do for us, through us, and to us. In the wonderful name of Jesus. And we said amen. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Give God glory. It's a perfect place to praise him in the name of Jesus. As we come today in the name of Jesus. We're in the book of John. Third John is where our reading is going to begin in the name of Jesus. It may seem like a very short passage, but to God be the glory. I want you to know that God has a word for you. Amen. amen. If you're in 3 John chapter number 1, just say amen. 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 We're going to be beginning at verse number 2. The word of the Lord God says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord people have a blessing of God's mighty word, and the word today is prosper. Tell your neighbor, prosper. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, prosper. prosper. In the name prosper. of Jesus. If you're taking any notes, which I encourage you to do, the title of today's message is True Prosperity. Oh we talking about true prosperity in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True prosperity. You must understand that being prosperous is much bigger than what the world has made it up to be. The world has made up to be prosperity as has to be something that's just financial. Mm -hmm. But I want you to know as people of God, it is financial, but there's so much more. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor there's so much more. There's so, so much, much more. more. You must understand that brothers and sisters that God desires for all of his children to be what to be in health and to yes, what to Lord. prosper. God wants us healthy. God wants us yes. strong. God wants us in our right mind, people of God. Yeah. Amen. God wants us to do what? He would love for us to prosper. Amen. God des desires that we would prosper in all Amen. things. I come to encourage the body of Christ today that the Lord God desires that you would prosper in all things in the name of Jesus. Not just in one area. People of God, we're talking about true prosperity. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. True prosperity in the name of Jesus. I went up and I, of course, you know, I looked up the word. I looked up the word prosper. I went to Good Webster's definition, but I also have a Bible definition for you. And those who are students of the word, you'll appreciate it. The word of God, and when I looked up the word prosper, it means to succeed. All right. It means succeed in material items. Okay. Being financially successful. Amen. 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 Prosper also means make successful. And finally, prosper means to do well. I'm going to repeat that. In the name of Jesus. To prosper means to succeed in material items. Be financially successful. To make successful. And to do well. But you know I went to the good old Bible dictionary. And then I went to a King James uh, uh, version of a Bible dictionary. And it defined the word prosper. It also means to carry. To carry. To bear. To grow, to increase. Come on now. Now the biblical definition of prosper, not prosperity, prosper, in the, it's a Greek word. It means to carry forward, to bear, to grow, to increase. Hallelujah. And also to thrive. Come on now. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm loving that the biblical definition yes, of prosper. Because uh, you're, unlike the world, we only hear about one part. We only hear about financially, uh, uh, material items. But when God says it, when you know, when he teaches us how to prosper, when he said, I want you to prosper, that means he wants you to be carried forward. That means you can bear some things. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, help me preach this. Come on. Whatever you prosper, true prosperity means that you're able to bear some things. To, to, that things will begin to increase in your life. Yeah, yeah. I want you to understand that people of God, God says, I desire that you would prosper and be in good health. I, might, I want you to know that I'm learning that true prosperity comes from the word prosper in all areas. Yes. Whenever we talk about prosper, and when the Bible says that we're in 3 John chapter, uh, uh, chapter number 1, verse 2, when he says, I want you to prosper in all things. Tell your neighbor all things. All things. Tell your neighbor on the other side all things. All things. I want you to know that when whenever we see the word prosper, when it says in all things, all means all. Amen. Mm -hmm. That means all also includes your marriage. Mm -hmm. 
All also includes your parenting. Mm -hmm. All also includes your job. Yes. Whenever the word of God says in all things, that means in every single area, God desires for you to prosper. Yes. All also means in your health. Come on now. Yes. That means all. I, I don't know what you understand. That all, everything that pertains to you, God desires that you would what? Prosper, prosper in all things. You see, most time we stop just with our bank account. And it's good to have a bank account, amen. amen. But I'm going to tell you, godly riches is worth so much more than this physical riches. Because this riches will pass away. Amen. I want you to know that the Bible tells that it's better to have spiritual richness than it is to have financial riches. Amen. You're like, well, we need financial. Yeah, I understand it. And the Father says, I know what you have need of before you even ask me. I know that you need financial riches in order to make it in this world. But I want you to know that people of God, we need to be spiritually rich in God. God said, I desire that you would prosper. That means you can bear some things. The true prosperity means I'm a fly of the mind. I'm good with and I'm good without. Come on. That's true prosperity. Whenever you can handle I can handle it when I got the steak and I can handle it if I just got the bread. Come on now. That means you can thrive. I want you to understand that people of God, God says, I want you to understand true prosperity means that you can prosper in every situation. I want you to know people of God that the apostle uh, John, the great apostle, he was called John the Beloved. Amen. And in case you don't know, he was one of the 12 apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going, I want to tell you just a little bit about the apostle John. You must understand that he was the one that was left on the island for so many years. He wrote the book of Revelation. Amen. He was the one out of all of the disciples out of the, during the time of persecution. He was the one that lived the longest. I want you to know and I'm wanting you to understand that because he understood. He really began to understand what it means to prosper. He understood it. It wasn't the riches. It wasn't that people knew my name that made me successful. It wasn't that I was doing anything great. It was because of God and the God in me that made me prosper. Amen. That was the only thing. Somebody needed Amen. to shout me down right there. Amen. It's only because the God that's in me that's making me prosper. It's not because I am anything. It's that there's a filthy rags. Hey. Not the wretched man that I am. Look at because God is in me. It's the only reason why I can prosper. It's the only reason why I am thriving today. I'm on where I am by the grace of God. There's nothing that I can boast about. I can't even boast about one little hair on my head. If it would not be for the grace of God, His mercy and His grace. So, you know, I'm prospering, I'm striving, and I'm thriving because God has allowed me to do so. And I want you to know the Apostle John, Apostle Paul, uh, uh, John, thank you, Holy Spirit, I'm going there with Paul. John, he, he understood that he's lived long enough outlived a lot of the disciples. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Jesus has already been resurrected, hallelujah, with the Father. Mm -hmm. And all the other, all of your other disciples that you hung with and used to hang out with have all been crucified and boiled. And, and they persecuted the prophets back then. Come on now. Like they're persecuting the prophets right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. You must understand yeah. that that persecution is still taking place. Yeah. But I want you to understand that even though John lived his life, he began to realize what prosperity really was. Prosperity is not fame. It is not manly riches. It is godly riches. Come on Amen. Yes. Yeah, yeah, godly riches at Christ's expense. Come on. And that's grace. Godly riches at Christ's expense. G-R-A-C-E. He understood that that's what made him prosper. People of God, I want you to understand that God knows that he doesn't want you to struggle financially. Come on now. God is a good God. And you must understand. You know what? God knows how to make, make the rubber meet the road. Come on now. He makes a purpose come down right where you need it to be. God doesn't want us to struggle. I want you to understand. Anybody's like, well, you know what? God got me. You know what? God, God will allow certain things. But God didn't put us in the bind no. of the end. No. Some things no. we put upon our mm -hmm. yes. 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 Some of us, when we, 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 we wanted too yes. much and then yeah. we yeah. overextended ourselves. Yeah. 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 I'm going to just yeah. leave it like that. We overextend. Yeah. When the Lord God yeah. said just little, little yeah. I'll make little become much yeah. in the hands of the Lord. Yeah. But I know we want to make it much yeah. and, and then we're trying to wonder how we going to handle the much. But yeah. God says, I will make little much in your hand. Not you make much, let me make much. Yeah. So that means if God said, I'm going to make little become much, that means he's going to give us little, but he's going to expand it. Yes, Come on yes, now. Yes, Ooh, yes, somebody yes, needs to get that. Yes, somebody needs to get that. Yes, Thank you, Lord Ooh. God. You must understand that the Lord God said that he, he desires for us to be prosperous. He wants us to be successful. Amen. You may have to, but God says, I know the plans that I have for thee. They're good and not evil. 
people mm. that bring to bring you to an expected end. God says, I'm expecting great things out of you. Everybody that's sitting in this house, God got a plan for you. Thank you. Amen. You may say, well, I don't know what I want to do, but you may not know what you, know what you want to do with you. You may not want to know what you want to do with God, but God says, I surely know what I want to do with you. Amen. If you let me have my way, the Lord God, oh, I, I, will, I will surely make you prosper in the way that you take. Yes. Did not the Bible say, I know the way that you take? <laughs> hey, I'll make the darkness light before you. Show the God says, I already know everything about you. He said, but if you would just trust me. He said, I desire to prosper you. I desire to, to bless you. He said, I know that you need it. But people of God, I, I, I've come to realize that this natural wealth has a price tag on it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Huh. You're like, oh, wait a minute. We're talking, think about it. Natural yes. wealth does have a price tag with it. Uh, you get a lot of turmoil when you got the natural riches. Yep. Hallelujah. If it's not tailored the way God would have it to be, it can bring a whole lot of bad stuff yes. if you're not careful. And no, I'm not trying to say God doesn't love money. God says he, he created right? money is not an issue with the That's Father. Right. Let me make it nice and plain. Money is not an issue with the Lord. The Lord God desires that we would be in health and be in wealth as well. Amen. Amen. He said, I'll give you, uh, I said, well, you can gain wealth. I, I'll teach you how to gain wealth. So that's not the issue here today. God said, I want you to learn how to prosper because if you can prosper spiritually, you can prosper financially. Jesus. 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 Come on, you're like, oh, wait a minute. And I never heard that. Well, let me teach it to you. Help me. Amen. Amen. You know what? If you can prosper uh, spiritually, you it was not that hard for you to prosper it's in the natural. If you can get your spirit man right wow. and prosper in wow. that area, that means you know you have the mentality. I'm already rich. Yeah. You know what? You can't give me nothing that my daddy not gonna already give me. That's, right. yeah. when you, that's how you probably you know when the enemy tries to yeah. feel like, well, you know, I'm not gonna yeah. give you this if you don't give me that. No, I don't um, need you, buddy. Yep. <laughs> Amen. I don't need nothing from you uh, because my daddy gonna make sure you give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, I love that. Ooh, hallelujah, as I used to fish in the natural, now I'm fishing in the spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I love to fish, hallelujah. I love that when you put your line yes, in the water Lord. and sometimes you get that little, that little bite on there. Like, oh. You want to pull it up real quick. Yeah. And then that, that's just how the world is. They want to put a line out there and see if you're going to nibble on it. Yes. Let's see. I'm going to give her a dollar raise. And to keep it quiet. No, no you no. won't have some riches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want yes. those. Look, like, I'm going to pull it. I'm going to get it. But I ain't going up. Yeah. I'm waiting for the big stuff. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. No, no, no. See, that, I'm using that example because the world will throw you lines. Amen. They will tell you that I can give you this. There's no quick scheme. and uh, You know, anything that sounds quick and shady and fast and you can fast money, it's got to be shady. Mm -hmm. All right. You know what? It's you can that. sit at home and, and you can get them get a thousand dollars. Stop it. Really? I mean, if you're sending them little commercials where mm -hmm. you get advanced and yep. you just need to do one little thing. Mm -hmm. And all the way, that's going to cost it. Oh, better yet, that's all you do is sign your name on this paper yeah. and turn it in. Yeah. And we're going to turn around and make milk. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. It's going to be. Show up right there. But see, that's how the enemy lies. If it and you're sitting there and you're thinking to yourself, that sounds too good to be true. Oh, yeah. If it does, it is. Yeah. That's something but never see that. Every time and next time you hear a commercial like that, next time that you hear that someone's trying to dagger that you can you know what? I got I got the job for you, I got a thing that you can do. That's all you gotta do is just do this and then you have all the money. Just remember this line. They're trying to dangle in front of you and see if you're going to bite. Because they see if they can get you with that, they can try something else with you. They can try something else. All of a sudden, you got wrapped up in something you don't want to be involved with. Come on now. That's how the world is. The world would do that to you. But God says, I, I don't want anything like that for you. He said, I want you to be spiritually prosperous. 
Whenever you're spiritually prosperous, you know that your maker shall supply all of your needs according yes, to his riches in Christ Jesus. Yeah, that means you know that you know that you know without a shadow of a doubt that God's going to assist you out. Oh, yes, come on now. Yes, you know that you know that you know without a doubt that God will assist you out of the matter. You must understand, people of God, that God said, I desire that you will be spiritually prosperous. And if when you're spiritually prosperous, it will advance you physically, prosperity will come. You're like, oh, wait a minute, because you, you, all of a sudden you, you're, you're acting above. Uh, come on now. You're not, the, you're not the beggar. You're not the lender. You're not the borrower. You know, like I said, I, I'm not going to have to borrow anymore. That's but see, right. when you start acting, you're like, well, wait a minute, I do need a loan right now. Yeah. It's all right. The Lord, like I said, have the mentality, I'm just right here for right now. For right yeah. now. For right now. Yeah. God's prospering me. I'm going to think about the flip. That's right. Wow. The yeah. lender is going to become, you know, the borrower going to become the lender. I'm not going to be up there <laughs> borrowing from you. You going to be, I'm going to turn that thing around when they're going to come ask me for That's something. right. Yeah. 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 Come on, God. Hallelujah. Better yet, well, maybe it's not money. Maybe it's. Maybe it's a little, you know, maybe it's something that, that you own, a possession. Maybe it's the vehicle, you know. Maybe, maybe it's a little clothing. Maybe, but at times, so don't get discouraged at times because at times we are in the position where we have to ask for assistance. Yeah, yeah, preach it up yeah, in the yeah, right house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, the enemy make you feel like that's teach a bad thing. You, no, you got to crawl before you walk. Yeah, right. yeah. yes. You got to walk before you fly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, yeah. But so if you're up there acting like, you know, don't let pride mess you up. Yeah, all right. right. Let pride make you miss your miracle. Right. Because you don't mean to take I'm yes. just, so whenever you get it, just say, I'm just taking it for right now. Yes. Just know I'm not going to be in this predicament yes. always. Right. I may be born, but I'm a, uh, just trust me, I'm not going to be born that much longer. Yes. Right. Surely enough, I'm going to be on my own. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. So I'm going to be so rich. And see, when you have that mentality, yes. when I'm yes. getting it right, see, some of you, you may, somebody may be watching, you may be living with somebody right now. My it's God. all right, just temporary. Because that's how I'm just staying there for a while. I'm not going to be staying there much longer. Because I'm about to get my own place. You know that God shall supply all of your needs. Mm -hmm. I know that you know the word that says that in Philippians 4 and 19, mm -hmm. that God shall supply mm -hmm. all, all of your needs. needs. All of your needs. Everything that you need, God said, I will supply. I want you to know that God, and understand Lord. God is not against wealth. Because the Bible talks about it from Genesis to Revelation, how rich God is. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, you must understand the patriarch. Let me let you talk. Let me tell you about a little bit about Abraham. His name was Abram. Abram was a rich man, people of God. He was not a, a non-wealthy. He was rich. And in Genesis 12, you remember he had to leave his kinfolk. Come on now. But Genesis 13 and verse 1 through 2, the Lord God says that Abram was rich. You know, it's, it's amazing how God likes it. You know the way God does things. I'm going to just give you a little lanyard right there. In that same passage in Genesis chapter 12, he lied about his wife. Amen. Mm -hmm. He said that Sarah was, was his sister. sister. Yeah. <laughs> so that way they wouldn't. So he was, and I said, and you know what? He lied and said Sarah was his sister so they wouldn't mess with him. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So he could get, and surely enough, when Pharaoh found out, he was like, would you get, get, uh, get out of here and take, every, take all. Do you realize he showed up and he was able to get all kind of riches. He yeah, said, yeah. they didn't even want, I said, I want that man. Take the herd, take the gold, take it all. So yeah. and, uh, somebody needs to get that. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Pharaoh turned around and said, you know what? And look how God did that. That's a nugget for somebody. Look how God, he made a mistake. Anybody, anybody made some mistakes? Oh. <laughs> Abram made a mistake. Yeah. Abram lied. Didn't that we talk about how God don't like people lie? Huh? Yes. Hello. Did not Abram lie? Yeah, he did. Abram lied about his own wife and said, Send you. And then he said, Well, technically, she's not really my, she my wife, but she technically is my sister. You know, <laughs> trying to dress it up like we try to dress it up. Yeah. You know, we, we try yeah. to make it up. Well, not really. Yeah. I mean, God didn't really tell me, Yeah, you lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You lie, 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 lie. Uh, you lie. 
God, look what God did. Even after Abraham, I'm yes. trying to give you a word of it because Amen. God knows we're fallen. Yes. Amen. Yes. We live in it. God knows that there are times that we do lie. You know, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on back. Don't act like, don't try to shut the camera off. Don't act like this. I'm talking about, I never lie. Shut up. I'm lying right now. Yes, yes. You're lying right now. You say you never tell your lying one that the truth not in you. You're lying right now. You probably lied as you sit up there shifting in your seat. Uh -huh. You lie. Easy. Easy. Yeah, you lie. Yes, you love. Oh my God, yes, you love. Yeah. Now, I tell you that when you lie, be quick to repent. Yes, amen. Because the Bible said when you when you act when you're lying, you act like the father, the father is the devil. Mm -hmm. So that means you need to be quick and say, Lord, oh, Lord, forgive me. Lord, I told him lie, Lord, I'm sorry. He knows that we are fallen. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah. You know, and so when Abraham, I, I thought that was so special in Genesis chapter 12, yeah. close to the end of it, he lied and God still turned around and blessed him. Still. Still, somebody need to get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, you made a mistake and God still don't bless you. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You said something you shouldn't have said and God still don't yeah, bless you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did what you want to find God still. Yeah, that's, yeah, a, that's a good God. That's a good God, 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 God. Yeah. Because God says, oh, God, I see your future. I'm not looking hey, at your present. Oh, hey, he said, I know you got some potential. He said, you just fallen. Ah, you just thought this made some mistakes. You know, yeah, you're yeah, a work in progress. Yeah, yeah. But he said, oh, I'm, I'm, a seal. I'm, a, I'm so good, I'm going to bless you anyhow. Yeah, yeah. Abram lied and then turned around and got there. And in uh, Genesis 13 and 1, it says he was very rich. Not just rich, very rich. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I, I like that right there. He was very rich. Not, not, not just a, but every, anything that could have been gotten in that time, and he was a very rich man. And let, let, let me just, let me help you out a little bit, sister. Because Sarah was with Abram. What you think that made Sarah? Very rich. <laughs> so, uh -huh. so I'm here to tell you, it does make a difference who you, it does make a difference who you associate with. All right now. Because see, if you hanging with very rich, and mess around, you connected with very rich, guess what? You can I'm That's very rich. Really so. uh -huh. <laughs> You're like, oh, wait a minute, because we're divinely connected here. Yeah. Yeah. You need to see that thing in the spirit. We're not just yeah. talking about marriage. Yeah. We are spiritually yeah. sisters and brothers. Yeah. If, if that, that's the individual in here that's very rich, I want you to know when we get that NFL player, woman of God, yeah. Yeah. when he's going to come through here and say, that, you know, yeah. I'm very rich, that means y'all know who I'm we talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to get that for yeah. uh -huh. get it. We all are oh, Amen. Amen. Yes, yeah. Lord. Why? Yeah, because Lord. she's our, our sister, sister in the Lord. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm mean, here to tell you, people of God, it does make a difference who you associate yes, with. Yes, Amen. Ooh, yes. That's a whole nother yes, preach Lord. right there. Yes, that's, that's, that's a whole nother yes, preach yes, right there. Yes, if you're hanging with people that are spiritually prosperous, you shall prosper. Mm -hmm. You're hanging with somebody that's spiritually broke, mm -hmm. you will be spiritually broke. Wow. Jesus. Every prayer that they get, oh, I don't know, God, I'm hungry. Jesus. Wow. Oh, oh, did it sound like that little ego? Oh, my God. I went in the room. Oh, my God. Yeah. God. You know, I don't like to be around people like that. I'm going to tell you the truth. Because my spirit, man, I can't handle it. Mm -mm. Because I got a lot on the line. Ooh. I don't know about you. Yes, but I have everything God promised me. <laughs> See, he tell you, you know, he keeps telling me my praise going to bring my promise. Yes. Yes. I don't know, but he keeps oh, yeah. telling me. Yeah. He said, your praise going to bring your promise. I said, wait a minute, God. Wait a minute, God. See, you might not understand my praise, but when he tells me, my praise going to bring my promise, I'm going to pray, God, like I lost my mind. My God. That never said, put me in a leash. But then I'm about to pass up out of here. Come on. My praise going to bring my promise? And the Lord God said, you know, Lord. when you start having that type of mindset, I can't have somebody spiritually draining it. Amen. Come, come, you know, just, you know God. every time Amen. God says it's good, and you're like, well, I don't know if it's good. Mm. Oh, uh -huh. Jesus. Yeah. I need the glass half mm -hmm. full, not the Hello. glass half empty. Oh, my God. I need That's people good. to see things half full, yes. not half empty. Amen. People of God, Jesus. Abram was very rich. Amen. His wife was very rich. And even his nephew, Lot, Lot was very rich. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Everybody who connected, y'all better get that. Yeah. Yeah. Lot was his, it was his nephew, but Lot was his, he was hanging out with Abram. And even he got some money. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and <laughs> and <laughs> tell you, you need to do a road check. Yeah. Don't look at the road. Who's on the road, man? Because I'm very rich. We very rich up in here. Yeah. 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 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, most people forget about Job before he, but you realize he had a lot. He yeah. sure did. Yeah. He had a lot. Right. He had a lot, so when he lost it, that's why it was so traumatic for him. Yeah. But when you have a lot,